I have an idea for you, Lars. Okay. I love canes. I'm in. Especially sword canes. They are one of the most illegal items in the world because they are concealed weapon technically. I think they are fascinating and probably the coolest thing in the world. Um, so my idea to you is there's a sword cane that get passed on to each, each uh, leader in an old folks home. And mm. each leader has to uphold the traditions and the sanctity of the can, home Go for can it. can that person can the owner of the sword cane be like the president of the social committee or something Ooh. like it's their their the other side thing that they do is they plan all the parties and the shuffleboard things and they they plan who's making grass crispy squares and who's making brownies all, that's all that's that a stuff. great idea because then it becomes more political rather than like a like a fight sort right. of show. Well, it's, a, it's, a, it. a, it's a little bit like um, Seinfeld. Remember in Seinfeld, the, his parents and when they're down Del Boca Vista, be sort of set in a Del Boca Vista type place, except the real president has this sword cane. Yeah, which is also a little. Uh, who else is? Uh, did Penguin have a? I feel like Penguin had a sword cane. Is that a is is no, ever, he had he a ever... he had an umbrella that shot. Oh, uh, right. that was like a machine gun. Right, it was an umbrella, not a cane. Gotcha. Yeah. gotcha. I don't know if any like major villain has ever had a sword cane. Oh, so, so that's why we need to and... iconicize it as a hero. But you just, I was going to say, hero is it? Is this person a hero or is this person a villain? Well, I mean, it depends on who it gets passed to. Well, so like, right. is is there going to be a vote? To decide who holds on to the sword cane. Yeah, and of course, so I there's, guess a, there's a vote every year as per the old folks community <laughs> guidelines, uh, bylaw 172. Every year they get every to vote year. who it is, and then it gets passed on. <laughs> Do they so then this? how how are they is it so it's just by vote, right? It's not by like it's not by trial or it's not by like trivia well, okay I, I like that maybe there's a sort of a weekend tournament that starts i feel like trivia so we like can a war tournament yeah yeah it starts as a vote to get yeah. your like finalists and you mm -hmm. get your whatever, however many people throw their name in the hat um and by the way this is open to male and female and transgender doesn't matter oh, yeah. what gender you are as long as you feel you can wield the sword can you can be a part yeah. of this exactly and they get voted in and maybe there's a first round like games round like trivia maybe bingo maybe a little shuffleboard and it start you're starting to get points and uh sort of like the brackets um or sort of like regular season i guess where you're to to, to work out seeding mm -hmm. and then as the weekend progresses it's like trials of strength or uh, two people in a in a pit together each with a sword cane and they just go at it maybe a, a old lady with a sword walker with four Oh like, yeah! Oh my god! Yeah, that's a great <laughs> weapon. Just like yeah. <laughs> she's like the assassin of the whole group. She's right. like she's like the wild card. Mildred is her name. Mildred. Oh yeah, Mildred. You don't you don't fuck with Mildred down the hall. I just feel been here for years. I feel in general, uh, elderly actors and elderly performers and comedians are underutilized. So I think anything, and I also think they're hilarious too. They're just a better sense of timing and, and oh yeah, uh, better life uh, experience. So I, I, I always feel like it's like experience as well, right? Because right. we and, and, like because when if you've been working, especially in the business for as long as they have, then. They have almost mastered timing. They've almost mastered the. I mean, I don't want to say there's any masters to acting or there's no there's any masters to performing, but like you can be at the pinnacle of that point because you know it so well, right? Your mind's still sharp as a tack. It's not like physical. Like there's definitely stuff that'll be limited with like physical comedy and stuff yeah, like that. We you might have, have to. Careful. We might have to have some stunt people in for the fight scenes, oh, yeah. or we'll just CGI them. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll CGI it. But I like it. I think we should green light sword cane. If you need a uh, some kind of sword cane theme song, like <laughs> sword cane, <laughs> sword cane. <laughs> 
Watch out, it's Sword Cane. <laughs> yeah. Sword Cane. Sword you hear that? You hear that, Netflix? Don't Stay be the idiot that Sword passed Cane. on Sword Cane. You don't <laughs> want to be the guy that passed on Sword Cane and wow. then it ended up being a billion dollar franchise. Sword cane, sword cane. Uh, I have something that I want to bring up. Uh, this is maybe a, in the category of vent more than an idea, but uh, I have an idea, and it's that I was listening to a song. It's a song in our playlist here in our pre show playlist. It's Jump Jive and Whale, and I was listening oh, yeah. to it the other, and I have a pet peeve with that song right now. Not that I mean, all songs have weird things with lyrics, and lyrics don't always have to make sense, but this lyric specifically didn't make any sense. That song, song starts out. With the with the words, baby, baby, it looks like it's gonna hail, which are words that have never been spoken in real life to anyone ever, because it never looks like it's gonna hail. Never, ever, ever, ever in your life have you looked up and be like, oh wow, yeah, looks look, hmm, looks like hail. What happens is it hails out of the blue, and you're like, holy fuck, it's hailing outside. Come look at this, and you're taking. Holy shit, they look they're the size of golf balls. No one ever is like, huh, looks like ice balls will fly from the sky today. So Brian Seltzer and the Brian Seltzer band, you lost me at baby baby. It looks like it's gonna hail. No one ever said that ever. And I just can't buy into the rest of the jump drive and whale. There, got it off my chest. Feels good. You, you You're right. Has there ever been like a, a movie where like the hail storm is the is the antagonist? Ooh, yeah, like uh, Twister, but hail. Yeah, exactly. Hail. Hail. Hail, <laughs> hell. hail, hell, hell, hell's hail. Because like, hell. what's what's the longest a hailstorm has lasted? How about hail's hail? And hail's I'll hail. I'll be the I'll be the lead guy. Hail, uh, hail's hail, hell. All hail, hails, hell. All hail, hail. <laughs> hails, hail, hell. <laughs> How many? There's, there's many versions of hail now that I'm figuring it out. No wonder they use that word. There's a lot of things that rhyme with hail. Pale, whale, jail, sail, male, gale, tail. Is there, a, is there a word that rhymes with, is there like, the? I think the maybe the most things rhyme with, with hail. Which now that I'm thinking about it is uh, now I give kudos to them for using the word hail right off the top because it's like the easiest word to rhyme other words with. So it's if that's why he's a brilliant lyricist. Wow. So I was looking up hailstorms. Okay. The the worst hailstorm happened in India in on April 30th, 1888. This hail event is said to have killed as many as 246 people Oof. with hailstorms as large as goose eggs and oranges and cricket balls. Yeah, that's yeah, that's ba it's basically the size of that lemon. Like imagine that like flying down through the air, like falling, falling from I don't even know how many feet up. When, right. Where are the clouds? It would be horrendous. And none of those people beforehand looked up and were like, baby, baby, it looks like it's going to hail. No one said that. <laughs> Nobody. Like, oh, it might, it might storm today. Like, it looks weird. The sky's a little green. We should go in. Is that what it is? Is that how you tell? Is it the same? Because that's tornadoes. I know if the sky's green, it counts as like a tornado. I don't or, that, know. or that's a sign anyway. We are well outside of my expertise of kazoos and slide whistles right now. I am not a meteorologist, so I cannot help you there. Anything else? You want to pitch anything else here? What are, Ooh, what are we? Dr. Bristolboard. I love evil geniuses. I think they are the greatest thing in the world. I think they are so much fun. And so what I want to do is I want to create a supervillain whose whole plan is just written down on Bristol boards that he pulls down. I wish I wish I had one right now. Uh, yeah, do it, do it, do it. Like yeah, this. and then the evil plan's there. <laughs> and it's and it's just always like um it's just always uh stick figures and like yeah pew pew, pew like yeah. by by guns explosions henchmen like it's just maybe there's it's like why is there a dragon in his plan why is he getting it's a like, dragon? oh sorry that's from D D the other yeah, day. yeah sorry yeah that was a game of thrones episode <laughs> <laughs>